Hello, so today we are going to answer a 5-minute personality test which is designed to know your personality type, strengths, weaknesses that could help a team to achieve its common goal. So before we proceed to the actual test, I will give you first a short background about this personality test. So this 5-minute personality test was originally developed by Gary Smalley and John Trent in 1999 in the book The Two Sides of Love, published by Tyndale House Publishers in Carroll Stream, Illinois. This personality test helps describe a person's natural strengths and weaknesses, as well as your abilities that are represented by animals. Moreover, this is helpful for a person to determine which types or styles he or she possesses that could work best in a team or to the entire organization where challenging tasks are present. Since our subject is about project management, I would like you to create your own team that we can use for future reference. Now, let's go to your Google Classroom to answer this activity. So here, we are now in the Google Classroom. So let's go to the classwork and click our activity number one which is about know your personality. So click. Make sure to follow these instructions before answering the test so that you could generate an accurate result. So again, this five minute test requires you to watch this video. So this is the video that I'm talking about. So I'll be sharing this link once I'm done recording it. Next, take this test and see your results after. So let's start. Let's view the assignment and go to the Google Sheet. Okay, here we go. So since we are in this sheet already, please take note that we cannot edit this sheet. So therefore, we need to make our own file for us to be able to edit it. So from the file, make a copy, change it according to your last name and course here in section here, okay? and save it to your drive. So since we have created our own copy of the 5-minute personality test, let's remove the view copy. So now let's start answering the personality test. So let's read first the instructions. So below here are horizontal lines with four words. On each line, one in each row, and in each row, under the rank score column, put the number 4 here, the rank score, put the number 4 next to the word that best describes you in that line, and a tree next to the word that describes you next best. Two, if it describes you next best words, and lastly, by the word that least describes you. On the on each horizontal line of words, you will then have four, three, two, one. Only one numbers for each line. Okay, so let's try answering. For example, this is my very um, best personality and 
Next is this one. I rank it 3. Next, this one. And the least, my least personality is this one. So as you can observe, this is 4, 3, 2, and 1. Again, in each row, you can only have one specific number per column. Okay? So again, this is the interpretation. 3, for example, likes authority. 4, enthusiastic. 2, sensitive feelings. And 1, likes instruction. So this it all or each uh, each ranks are represented by letters, which later we will know that the, these are in equivalent to an animal trait. L, O, B, and G. So, for example, we are done ranking our personality. Let's generate the most highest result. So let's finish this first. Okay, this is one. So let's just change it a little bit so that we can gain something new. We can generate a um, new result. Or let's say, for example, these are all four, 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 three, 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 two, 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 two. This is only an example, okay? So you need to make your own. All right. So since we're done um, ranking our own personality based on each row so we only have 10 rows to answer so the highest number of score is the one that best describes you or your dominant personality and the second score is your sub dominant personality so since we have here 31 the highest score so it ranks under the G column. So let's see what is the interpretation of this letter to the next video. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.